a little while ago I did that video about putting an LED light bar on my uh, little Kabuta and this company MIC Tuning um, saw it and they actually saw that I wanted to get a light bar for my other tractor and offered to send me one if I, you know, make a video similar to the other one about it. So that's what this video is all about. Um, it's a 180 watt light bar. Now they shipped it to me from Hong Kong and they shipped it with a, um, a wiring harness also that, uh, you know, it seems to be very high quality um, materials that were used in it and everything. Um, I like the switch a little better than the other one that I got because it's smaller. And they did put some nice plugs on there to uh, make everything easy to install. Um, and then there were some nice brackets uh, that came with it. And the uh, there was a hardware bag in there that you know also came with it. And the um, light bar itself is a 180 watt light bar, and um, I just it's like twice as heavy as the uh, the light bar I put on my Kabuta. It um, really seems to be well made, and um, the cooling fins on it are just amazing compared to the other one um they're uh you know really long heavy extrusions on it so it looks like it's gonna it's gonna be a long lasting unit from what i can tell here um the overall width of this light bar is um comes in to be about 31 and a quarter a little bit over that when you're um you know and it's got the specs on it. it's a 6000 to 6500k so it's got you know a good light quality to it it's going to be a bright white light and uh, it's got a nice strain relief where the cable comes out of it you know everything seems to be well made and um this one did come with a, about a three foot long cord on it also it's um it's a 14 gauge wire and um, it looks like to be a tin wire so it's you know a high quality from what i can tell and there are those cooling fins. They're just, um, just pretty amazing. Um, I know the other light would get warm when you leave it on, so I'll have to see how this one works. Um, wiring harness got the standard uh, relay on it and fuse holder. Um, it does have a nice, you know, heavy sheath over the wires to protect them. And for my application, it turned out to be the perfect amount of wire and nice switch it's a little bit smaller than the one on the other one and um be easier to mount i think and there's also a uh, a nice disconnect locking connector so you can you know take it apart and install it a lot easier too so um it looks you know it looks uh like it's a uh, you know real high quality made unit and it did come with some wiring instructions with it which are you know pretty much basically simple but um they do give you a good uh pin out of what everything does here in case you run into any problems so um i decided that you know here are the brackets that mount it and um They've got like little serrations on both sides, so it looks like you can mount them both ways. Um, I decided I was going to mount it with the brackets in to keep it a little narrower, but you can swap them. And I think the preferred method is with the brackets out because of the little ring in there. And then there's a nice rubber pad to, you know, prevent scratching and rattling and stuff when you mount it. And they also gave you the hex key to um, to fit the hardware, and it's all polished stainless steel bolts that they send you. So um, you know it should be a long-lasting unit. I think it's really you know well made. And there you can see that's the way I'm going to put the brackets on it, just because I want to try to keep it a little narrower. And then you know you, you have one screw there that mounts on each side, and then you know it, you can really rotate this about 360 degrees around the um the brackets well maybe a little bit less because of the wire coming out but um it's really going to be easy to uh you know aim once it's installed from what i can tell and they do give you the uh you know the mating parts for the for the wiring harness and some extra fuses so you can get the right fuse for your light size 
So, you know, the overall width of this, the way I'm going to mount it, is about um, 32 and 5 eighths inches. So, that's what I'm going to be dealing with. Now, they sell these on Amazon. So, um, I did put a link down below, just, you know, in case you're interested in them. They give you all the real specs on them there. And the wiring harnesses are available in different gauges also. So, first thing, it's out to the shop. And trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to mount it. I, I know I want it up over my head because, you know, for loader work, you really need it to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to mount it up on the roll bar. And my roll bar had those big radiuses on it. So it was, you know, it wouldn't really mount easily. So I had a piece of nice heavy quarter inch uh, thick aluminum angle that I decided to use to, um, you know, mount this up there. So First thing I had to do was just cut it down to uh, the length that's the width of the roll bar. And that you know, takes a second with a bandsaw like that. And then just I took all the corners and radius and deburred everything on them just so there'd be no sharp edges, you know, left on anything. And then I had to drill a couple mounting holes. Now these are the holes for mounting the light. And then I also had some taps on the top of my roll bar that I had to um, transfer the whole locations to for mounting this unit. So I, you know, I spent a little time in the shop, got everything all, all drilled out, and you know, there's how it's going to mount on there, and got the nice stainless steel bolts going through, and uh, so you know, there it is. I I screwed it to the top of the roll bar, and. Uh, in the future, I'm going to also add some uh, some LED strobe lights to it too, so I don't mind it being a little bit longer there. So I, you know, just wanted to put a coat, a quick coat of paint on this bracket. So first thing I do is just I sand it a little bit quickly, but then I take a um, a degreaser before I do any spray painting, just to make sure that the paint's going to stick good. And you know, then you just take a good good primer and just give it a, a quick spritz of that. And um, then I, I just went back a couple minutes later and threw on a quick coat of a uh, Rust-Oleum black paint that matches the roll bar pretty good. And, you know, there it is. Uh, let it dry for a couple hours and, and there it is ready to, to screw in place up there. And actually I'm going to probably plasma cut a couple uh, matching pieces to fill in where that radius is and just have the roll bar look like it goes straight up and... Um, probably going to paint them John Deere green in the future fill it all in there so I had those taps in the top of my roll bar that you know made it real easy to mount this so there were four taps and so it's just got four quarter inch bolts coming from the top holding the um, this new bracket in place so it's you know solidly mounted on there and yeah once that's once that's all screwed in place um, there you can see how it kind of fits. It's you know a real nice fit. Uh, I've got to mount the light up there, and I noticed that the pads, the holes in the pads for the uh, mounting hardware, were a little bit off, so the pad wouldn't be centered. Um, so I just took for a quick fix. I have one of these uh, things for punching holes in leather belts, and you know that'll punch rubber just as good as anything else. So um, you know, a quick little punch to open up that hole to a little bit of a slot there. And um, got everything so it's perfectly centered now. You know, it took about two seconds. but So then I, um, you know, just mounted the, uh, the two brackets up there. And um, I left them a little loose till I got the light in place. Uh, so I could, you know, get everything aligned and then tighten it all down. And then the light was just, you know, real simple matter of um, adding the two screws in from each side to uh, to mount that and there are like little serrated teeth on the uh, inside of the bracket and the uh, the light mounting area there that really do lock everything in place good so it should stay um, the adjustment once it's finally adjusted properly should should really stay nice over time And, and you know it's just a matter of loosening and adjusting these two these two mounting screws to be able to aim it so there it is um, you know it's kind of you don't really see it from the back it's protected but um, 
I went back and I did put some double nuts on those bolts up there just to be safe after I tightened everything down also. Now it's time to kind of run the wires down and um, I decided to keep them inside the roll bar because I had one hole up on top to use and you know an exit point down below so I just um, pulled an old piece of wire through there, snaked it in there and then I'm taking the new wires and I cut off the extra length that I did not need. This is um, the wiring harness is for a two light setup so I just I just kind of cut it off at the um, the first connection point and I'm only going to use the um, the you know the single light on this so um, it's just a matter of feeding you know this new wiring harness up through the roll bar there so it would be protected and wouldn't get ripped off over time and um, the sheathing that they put on it seems to be a very uh, very heavy gauge sheathing it should protect it really good so there it is I got it up uh, and there's that little hole in the roll bar I used so I I got that up there and then I just took and I soldered the connections to the um, to the light just to be on the safe side so no moisture would get in it or anything seeing how it's going to be buried in the roll bar and I just kind of you know taped them up and um, before I soldered it together I put a nice piece of shrink tubing on to um, to kind of span that gap between the the light wire and the wiring harness wire and then just went back and shrunk that on there so um, there should be no chance of you know this being attacked by any kind of moisture or um, you know having any problems in the future because like I said it's buried in the roll bar so I'll get that up there and um, now it's just trying to pull everything back down through and you know get the wires nice and uh, nice and tight where they're gonna be <clears throat> yeah, eventually I'm going to remove that um, that red strobe light and just put a couple yellow LED strobes back there. <clears throat> so that's you know that's it. The wire is in place, pretty much hidden. Um, now where it comes out at the bottom, there's some other you know light wires from the tractor that were already there. So I'm just taking everything and putting another piece of that uh, that corrugated sleeving over it to kind of protect it and. You know, keep it from rubbing on anything in the future. And I did have a um, wiring harness run back to that area where the shifter is on the tractor. Um, I used to use it to run a sprayer years ago, so I decided to take that power feed, which is a 30 amp feed, and use it for the lights. So everything turned out, you know, pretty much perfect. Um, and I had to just tie wrap the wires back to keep them away from the shifter so I just drilled two holes and ran a um, wire wrap one of those tie wraps around it to pull that in place and then I just had to um, the that red power lead for the um, the input power to the lights I just uh, you know cut off the ring lug that they give you on there and I had to put on a lug that would plug into the existing wiring that I had so you know, I just put that together and then I put some shrink tubing on everything to um, keep the moisture out and just plug it back into the uh, the old wiring harness and then there was the ground wire that I had to run back to the frame also but that was pretty simple now the switch needed a little bigger hole than the one that was in there so I just drilled that out and got the switch mounted and it was really a simple setup and um, there you can see it works really good um, these lights on this one, the um, the like the fog light setups have a completely different um, pattern than the other one that I put on the Kabuta and the um, I can't wait for it to get dark out so I can just see how it's going to work. So you know, basically, there it is. It's uh it's sitting up there and um, just waiting for it to get dark and it's got a heavy rainstorm going on out there now so um, I waited till it's over and here I am pulling out um, here's the tractor stock lights you can see with the loader they're basically useless and here's this new light bar um, it's just uh, amazing I have it aimed out so it's uh, only maybe about 150 to 170 feet I'd say um, where the focal point is on the um, the beams, but um, it really does uh, does light light the area up. You can't really tell from this camera, but um, 
it, it does a perfect job and you can see it works good with the loader too you're not blocking anything off so there it is again um, there's the tractor lights that just basically don't work with the loader and then here's the, um, the MIC tuning light and um, it, it's pretty amazing how bright it is and um, it's really nice the, uh, the, the two outer bank or the outer bank of lights on each side is like a um, just a wide area of light and they really do a nice job of lighting up all around you so you really you know can see what's going on on the sides of you and everything else and you know there you see it's it's the loader's not in the way of it so you can still see everything that you're doing so um, this is going to be a real great addition, especially for um, using the loader and uh, snow plowing in the winter at night also. So, um, you know, I'm really happy with it and you really can't see how good the lights are in this video, but they, it's, it's just amazing the amount of light that this thing puts out. Um, and if I did aim it up a little bit higher, you could probably see, I'd say probably 250 feet with it easily. But, um... So, you know, I just thought I'd do this, and um, I'd like to thank uh, MIC Tuning for, you know, sending me the light and give me a chance to do this, because um, I did really want to put a light on this tractor, and uh, this seems to be the perfect combination um, of light if you have a loader on your tractor. Um, it's just, it's really quite a bit brighter than the one I put on my little Kabuta, but, you know, you don't really want it to be, uh, for mowing that was you know a good brightness but um for working with the loader and you know having that uh be able to aim that pattern exactly where you want it and um you know get the floods on this actually are a little bit wider too so um i think it's going to be a real good combination for this little tractor So I'm going to just throw some links down in the description to the, uh, the Amazon site if anybody is interested in, you know, looking at the specs on it or, you know, seeing any more about them. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe.